Thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Christian Podcast. Guys, this is just my journey throughout life, going out there and obviously failing, succeeding, failing and succeeding and sharing my journey with you guys. My wife and I, uh, I am part of the Air National Guard for the last seven years. I've recently retired from there, going out there and pursuing my passions, which is just loving on people. My wife is a clinical doctorate and we're going to be both moving down to North Carolina and we're very excited because she's completing her externship and then we're going to be focusing on, uh, you know, obviously going out there and just loving and building businesses and helping other people build businesses and mentoring and coaching others. And guys, I just want to share this with you because this is something that's impactful. I heard Zig Ziglar say, and this is our topic today, how to find motivation to achieve your goals. Zig Ziglar always said, motivation is like taking a bath. You'll need it every single day, even though that is very funny. And I find that I I, I laughed and I laughed and I thought, man, that is so right. Because it is. It is 100%. However, though, the biggest thing that I realized is what I find is character. Character overrides motivation. And when I'm saying this stuff, I just want you to understand this aspect behind it. Motivation, you know, when you go to a convention and we get all excited and, you know, go to Tony, Tony Robbins event and you're like, you know what, this is awesome. When you go to, you know, Dale Carnegie, Carnegie event or whatever it may be, Jim Rohn, I don't know, there's so many different events now, so many different conventions. You go out there, you're so excited, so pumped. Man, yes, this is awesome. I've got so much stuff. Boom, you come home, you're good for a few and then all of a sudden Wednesday comes. Wednesday, right? There's always a Wednesday. And, oh man, life didn't, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is, life hits you. But this is where character comes in. It's committing to that goal. It's committing yourself to whatever you committed to. Whether that be daily, whether that be monthly, whether that be weekly, whatever it is, you've committed and you've made that commitment to yourself. And that the idea is to follow up and do whatever you said you were going to do, even when that emotion has gone and left you. That's where character comes into play. Now, I can say this because this is something I had to work on all the time. See, many of you don't know, but I was actually called an inclusion kid, where I needed help and assistance in reading and writing and and arithmetic and all that stuff in school. Now, with that, basically what that did is that taught me that I didn't like to read, I didn't like to write, I didn't, you know, and it made me feel stupid. It made me feel stupid. However, though, what's really cool is that all of a sudden I started getting into the realm of personal growth. I read a book, and I forget which book it was. It was one of Dave Ramsey books. And then then I, from Dave Ramsey book, I started reading another book, another book, and another book, and another book, and another book. And I just loved it. I was like, oh my gosh. And I, I used to never read. I used to never really like it. And I just started enjoying it and having so much fun with it. And I realized that there's, there's people like me out there that weren't good at school. And that was like a lot of the entrepreneurs I ran into. And I, and I started surrounding myself with those right people. However, though, sadly, I didn't have the integrity that I needed to keep those friends. It was me. I lied, I cheated, I did things that I was not really proud of, and I lost a lot of that crowd. I lost a lot of that opportunity. However, though, I didn't give up. I realized my failure, I realized my my flaw, and I worked harder. And I looked at my integrity and I said, you know what, I need to learn how to tell the truth. I need to go out there and, and be truthful with myself and realize my character flaws. Then all of a sudden, I I had the opportunity of surrounding myself with great men. Men and women that are are just on fire uh, about life, about character, about mentorship, about coaching, about the impact in the world and making an impact on the world. And so that's what stopped me in my tracks. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lose this opportunity. I'm going to do whatever it takes, as long as it takes be committed to myself and be committed to my goals and dreams, whatever it takes, however long it takes. Today, we're going to be talking about how to find motivation to achieve your goals. And that's the reason why I want to share with you that brief story. Because character is is a commitment that you've made to yourself after the emotion is gone. Motivation is this hype hype emotional thing that you're experiencing, those tingles, those feelings. But commitment and character 
says, you know what, I'm going to keep following along this path even though I don't feel like it. It's doing what is right, not what feels right. I want people to understand this is a really good example of going to work out. When you go work out, most people don't like to wake up at 4 o'clock and lose sleep and go and, and, and work out. However, though, you'll never achieve the kind of results that most people have. That's the same thing with a business. That's the same thing with life. That's the same thing with financial, spiritual relation, anything like that, any aspect. The reason why they are successful in that arena is because they go out there and put, and they're committed. But do you think they, they feel like it all the time? No, of course not. They want to sleep in. They want to enjoy Saturdays and, and Sundays. But what do they do? They committed themselves to that goal. One of the biggest mistakes people make when seeking to achieve a goal is to wait for inspiration and motivation. Imagine if everyone on this planet waited for motivation to get work done. Productivity would drop to nothing and our economy would collapse. Since productivity has improved over the years, it's not likely that it has anything much to do with real motivation other than people doing the things they have to do in order to achieve a goal. That goal may be set by them or their employer. It doesn't matter who set it, it's set. And someone is going to get it done. How sad that in some cases people fail at so many things simply by ignoring the fact that motivation isn't really necessary. Only doing is. They sit around waiting for inspiration to come, wondering why everyone else is doing better than them, and they're waiting for some spark or uh, motivation that will never arrive. You can avoid this issue by realizing the truth. Motivation doesn't exist. You probably had heard of the myth of the starving artist who can't paint, or the writer with writer's block. It's interesting that these creative professions have the same myth, like weight loss, that some secret motivation has to come to achieve success, some mysterious spark of inspiration that will get you off your bottom doing what you need to get done. However, Nothing can be further from the truth. Doing, not thinking, gets results. Time and again, the people who are truly successful in their own lifetimes are not people who wait for a spark. They are people who get up out of bed every single day, rain or shine, and do the things that lead to an end result of success. The successful painter paints every single day. And if they hate marketing, they hire someone to do that for them. The successful, the successful writer writes. The successful doctor, doctors. If you want to be successful at something, do it. Live it. You will succeed. Successful people are not smarter than you. Many people get blocked by thinking that someone is better than, smarter than, or than, than, them. The truth is, successful people aren't smarter. Take a look at the most famous actors that you know. With that exception, they are simply people who do their craft every single day and more times than not, they are simply being themselves in front of the camera. They are doing it, not thinking about doing it and not dreaming of doing it. They go to auditions, get rejected, and then get up the next day and do it again. Set. SMART goals. Learn about the uh, acronym SMART, which stands for specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and timely. Every goal you set should meet that standard. After all, if you cannot be specific enough about you, what you want so that it can be measured and you can act on it in a realistic manner in a specific time frame, it's not really a goal. It's a dream. Perhaps a pipe dream. Envision success. Some people think vision boards are a bunch of hocus pocus, but the truth is being able to truly visualize yourself, experience success, will go far in helping you actually create success in your life. There are people who are good at seeing it in their mind and believing it, but others need more. Try making a vision board to see your dreams down on paper so that you can then decide how to make your smart goals. Follow a schedule. It can't be stated enough. Doers do. Successful people do. A, to-do list isn't going to cut it. You're going to need to make a schedule and stick to it. If you want to write a 10,000 word ebook to sell to your target audience, you need to start at the end point. Then work your way back to 
today. Making a schedule that is realistic and that you really can follow to get the work done when you said you wanted it done. Then let nothing stop you. Experience success. Set some smaller goals that you can feel what success is like. If you never want stuck to anything, you can't know what success feels like. And you have nothing to push you forward. People who experience success like to experience it again. And the more success you experience, the more you're going to realize that you can. It's self-fulfilling. Repeat everything. Finally, keep doing it over and over and over and over again. With anything you want to achieve, set the goal, track your success, and do something every single day toward achieving that goal. Again and again and again and again. It's really that simple. Motivation is a figment of the imagination and nothing and not something that most people have. Most people get up in the morning by hitting the snooze button a few times and most people do not feel especially happy about doing certain things. What they feel happy about is the end result, the deliverable. Place your focus there and you will not need any motivation because you will be successful. Guys, a multimillionaire asked me this. He said, Christian, I'm one of those people that I would be fine going to the park benches every single day and shoving off the gum underneath those park benches all over this world for five years if I knew after five years I'd be financially free debt free and I never have to work for another man or woman in my life and he said see because Christian I am not worried about the process I'm focused on the result and that's what I'm going to leave to you guys are you process focused? Or are you focusing on that result? Thank you. And go out there and do it.